Hey y'all, let's check out Boo Fest. Hey y'all, so I am super excited. We are at Boo Fest from Lilu's World, brought to us by Lilu's World. A uh, disclaimer, if you guys hear like a uh, huge gust of wind, that's the heat, the heat coming on. Because although the daytime is really okay, nighttime is really giving a uh, cut the damn heat on. If you guys are new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. I am shy and second life. And on this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of second life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So right when you drop on the land, they have a lot of these different stations with cute little grabbables and things like that, you know, look around, lots of little places to visit, but uh, I want to get to the looking. Look how nice is it? Y'all, so the last video that I did, um, it just dawned on me that the guy that I was telling you guys about in the video, he had sent me a message while I, while I was still on the land. He was like, you know, basically saying like nice videos or something like that. And I was like, OMG, what if that man comes and watches this video and hears me talking about how he was so fucking close to me? He was close though. He was, it was giving invading my space, but I didn't even mean it like that. I don't know why I just froze like that back there, but that's none of my business. Look at this. I'm telling y'all right now, this might be a two-parter. I'm going to try to have it not be a two-parter, but it's given two-parter because I want to see everything and we're going to see everything together because y'all not about to have me walking through this by myself. That's one thing I'm not about to do is walk through this by myself. Absolutely not. That's why I brought you guys here because if I'm going to be scared, y'all going to be scared. We're going to be scared together. So it is 12.36 a.m. I don't know why I have this type of energy, but I do. But I do. Y'all, I am, I started off really, really good with Vlogtober, really good. Was very proactive in my videos and stuff like that. And I think just that proactiveness has caused me to be quite lacking in uh, with the video. So I'm not like bulk. I want to see that. What's that? Is that just like a bunch of potions? We saw that on another land. I'm still standing true to my. If we saw it on another land, I'm not going to look at it. Well, not that much. Look at this. All these cornfields. All of these cornfields. So, you know, the video that I put out for this video is going to go out on what Friday is going out on. So the video that I put out on Thursday, I did it Wednesday. And although before those times, before I was doing the videos, like the day of, so it's a little bit better, but I did like having like multiple videos already ready to go. So I will have like three videos made in advance. And now I'm not like that. So now I'm trying to get back on a good foot. I'm really trying to get on a good foot. Y'all look at this. I told my son I wanted to do the pumpkin head uh, pictures with him and my brother. And I want to do it with the dog, but I don't know if she going to act right. She, you know, she gets stank every now and again. So we, we just going, okay, what's happening right here? Oh, he got it behind his back. I'm like, is this his back and his head turned around? Look at them. I love this. So I love that they have a real nice playful feel. They got these little pose balls back here. So it looks like you can pose with them and take like some super cute pictures. Lilo, Lilo's world done it again. So this land, if you are somebody who watched or if you guys haven't, why the hell not? If you guys haven't checked out my up, up and away um, videos, the I'll link it, well, I'll put a card up. That video has a landmark to the up, up and away location. If you take that up, up and away location, it will bring you directly to Boo Fest. Mm -hmm. Why am I freezing like that? Y'all need to get it together. Y'all need to get it together because I refuse to believe it's me. So I'm in the shared environment and look how pretty this is. So yeah, I'm all over the place. I promise I haven't had any coffee or anything. It's something about the night. It's something about the night. It brings, uh, okay, we got some jump scares going on. I don't really like that. It gives me like this sense of energy. I'm, I really think it's because the house is asleep. That's what I think. I think because it's like, I know my son's at rest. It's almost like, okay, well, this is your me time. 
And I really think that that's what it is. I really truly do because it's a level of excitement that I don't feel like I should be having at damn near 1 a.m. I just, I just don't think so. Look at this alligator. Yeah, are those lambs? Okay, we we gonna go ahead and let you be. We gonna we're gonna let you be, cause that's that's how you wanna be. What I have noticed is a lot of times when people on Second Life, the lands that I have seen, the a couple of lands. Is this like an interactive game? Okay, so this is like an interactive game. We're not gonna do that, you know. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna we're gonna view. We're gonna we'll be here forever doing that. When I come to a lot of these spooky, not a lot of these spooky lands, but a couple of the spooky lands that I have gone to, the Halloween themed lands, they always have like a bayou type feel to it. And when I think of the bayou, although I know um, New Orleans is not the only place that has a bayou, but when I think of bayou, that's what I think about. And I'm like, why is that always like, if you want something scary, make it a bayou. It's like, okay, I get the whole aspect of it, like the murky waters with the alligators and things like that. But there are lots of other, other different elements that also have that scary type vibe. I don't know. Maybe I'll be reading too much into stuff, but I don't really like that because I feel like they're trying to say, uh, New Orleans is like some spooky, creepy place, which is like, okay, they have a lot of spiritual aspects to them. Absolutely. Um, a lot of, you know, work can be done there that will be very strong and everlasting. However, don't, uh, don't pair that with Halloween. I mean, put some respect on their name all the way, every way, all day. But that's just an observation that I made because this land is once again given like that Bayou vibe. And although I like it, although I like it, it is just like going back to that whole New Orleans type thing. But again, I know that there are many different places that have a Bayou or that has a Bayou. But when I think about you, that's just immediately where my mind goes. Um, yeah, that's just how I feel about it. Look at this a little creepy party. Oh, they have all these little faces here. I don't know if I'm supposed to click on these. I don't want to do it yet because I don't want to get taken someplace. And we're still looking at this. So this is like a cool little party. I love the shared environment. It's so nice. So although it does have a very spooky vibe to it, it, it is also very playful. It does have a really nice um, playful essence about it that i really do like this would be awesome for the kitties to go to and to really just like explore and just really have fun he looked like he about to charge let me get on up out his way so i love these jewels over here and how they kind of have it like a more playful aspect and you see i really like that they're doing this on these lands as well so it's like it's not all just like super duper spooky they also have some nice playful um accents these huge jewels is this the big ass dragon is this that dragon that we saw on that land oh that's a big dragon he real big he real is this another dragon burnt up? What's happening right now? You mad? Oh, he mad. He real mad. Let's go ahead and leave him alone. So as I'm walking through this land, I am still trying to keep with the concept of be mindful of your time, you know, because I don't want this to be two parts. I don't, but Lilo's lands, you, you have to revel in the creativity of it all and i must say i that my lilo land video the up up and way in a way video it was not that long ago and they have switched out this whole entire land does this lead this is a path it has to lead to something or else it wouldn't be a path what is this is this like a little hole of okay the creepy clown but of course then they have these little pumpkins so they put this land up really quick and this land looks absolute are these little kitties how cute this land looks nothing like the other land not the setup not the path nothing looks the same so it's not like they just kind of swapped out some stuff they took everything down and redid it 
redid the whole damn land and yeah oh i don't really now i will tell you i'm not i don't like a jump scare i don't i really love how they have like this little movie theater here and so they have all these old ass cars but you can like sit in the cars it seems like you can sit in the cars and can you sit in the cars what i'm talking about you can sit in the cars you can't sit in the cars some of them you probably can yes some of them you can sit in some of them uh, will give you a chair and you can kind of like vibe out watching a little movie i don't know if the screen works i don't know i had this before and this is super nice super duper nice the adult animations in second life have come a mighty long way if you know you know yeah sometimes it's just like wow how y'all doing this because who was doing these uh moves who was doing these moves they have a little concession stand that's given very much rickety but the treats look good they have some cockies you know if you would like those you can go ahead and get you some so everything looks kind of like kind of like old and rusted rusted almost kind of just like a what do you call them uh old car lot that's how the vibes are feeling over here i do love the sporadic pumpkin patches these little pumpkins here and then they're kind of like all over the place what's over here what is this is this like a sea creature yeah and then they have this little thing. I don't even know if this is something that you can access. But if you could, the pictures would be really nice. It has a little um, dock. So there has to be a way to access it. Yeah, you just walk the... It's not even difficult to access. What am I talking about? So the more you walk, you will find lots of cute little sitting spaces. I love that everything is pumpkin themed. It's given very, very much so seasonal, very fall and Halloween mixed in with one another. And I do like that. I love that even though they have a lot of Halloween decorations, they still are incorporating a lot of the fall colors. Really, really like that. I feel like, and I know I talked about this before, but ever i'm gonna walk through here because it's some stuff over here i want to see i feel like ever since i just started getting dressed and leaving to go to view these lands viewing them seems so much more easier it's like i don't have that feeling of like you need to match the space you need to have something look like you know you're matching the land and stuff like that it's like i don't feel that y'all hear the heat coming on look bear with me bear with me it won't be on long but it's on this damn snowball microphone picks up everything 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 so listen i ain't about to be cold that's one thing i'm not gonna do i'm not about to be cold so they have this little house up here look how cute this is this land is huge it is huge when i panned out it looked quite large it did look quite large can i go in here of course you can you know we love a house we love a decorated house decorated houses get me going every single time always will so they have a lot of haunted houses that i'm seeing like actual houses that are haunted definitely are going to i want to see what's going on with this chair we're definitely going to be checking those out i'm trying to you know because it's just the it's the 10th right now this video is not going up to what is this the the 11th video i think this is the 11th video maybe maybe i don't know how many videos i'm gonna do i might do a couple more tonight because i'm not sleeping so why not um i don't want to get like into halloween halloween like that just now but you know i keep freezing that's a side note that's kind of irritating me but I'm not sure. I don't know if that's uh, SL or what. I, I don't need. I don't even know. Firestorm probably doing something in the background, trying to do a new a new update in the background. Um, I don't want to get into like super duper like all Halloween stuff because it's it's so early. We're not even at the midpoint. We're close to the midpoint, but we're not at the midpoint. Okay, I don't want to step on walk on top of the uh, chair. So I do have some more fall lands, but all of these, um. Halloween lands are coming out and I'm always so paranoid when the lands become seasonal in Second Life. 
I don't want to miss out on things. And what happens is a lot of times these lands, they're not up. They'll be up for like a couple of weeks, like you think, because it's a Halloween theme land. Like, oh, this is going to be up. I love this this little potion with the iridescent is looking very much so like that that's gonna work that's gonna do what it's supposed to do for sure um the lands don't stay up very long so like you might see a land and it might only be up for like a couple weeks and so then when halloween roll around and you think you're about to go and view this land that you've had sitting in your inventory and you go to the land and it says ain't nobody here ain't nobody here that's a bit um it gets a bit upsetting so as I'm finding the lands, I'm trying to get to them in a timely fashion because I don't want them to be gone. I just don't. Now, like communities that have made their lands um, Halloween themed and things like that, that's a little bit different. Those lands, I feel like they're going to have a little bit more longevity than the lands that are just... Um, their landscape is the lands for Halloween just to have like a Halloween themed land. Those are the lands you gotta you gotta get it while the getting's good. So I really do like this house. I like that there's not too too much going on on each level. It's like just enough, just enough. So it's not like crazy. I've gone to some lands and they'll have a haunted house and the house is like three floors, eight rooms on each floor, and each floor is like super highly decorated. This house very much so decorated. I don't have my mirrors on. I bet you that one worked. I like that. It's like a like a portal. Um, I, I those lands are cool, but when I walk up a flight of stairs and I see like seven doors, that gives me anxiety. That really, really gives me anxiety because I'm like, okay, I do want to see everything, but I'm gonna get confused. And I'm not going to know where I'm walking to. And once I go into seven rooms, I'm not going to necessarily want to go to the next floor. Even, you know, if y'all want to go to the next floor, then we can go to the next floor. But y'all know how I feel about roaming through houses. I will do it from time to time, but I'm a first floor kind of girly, you know. I like to keep it real cute, real casual and be on the first floor because... If I go to all the floors and look at every single thing, like the hell I'm doing right now. Okay, y'all, the heat off, the heat off. Um, I want y'all to be like, I want to come and see some stuff. Shout on showed us that we already been. We've already gone. Shout on showed us everything, you know, but I hope y'all don't feel that way because I do this because we're hanging out but i still want you guys to explore on your own even when y'all not with me you know we vibe out all the time and i love that for us always and always but you know i want y'all to come to these lands and really explore them with other people you know people that might not be part of our crew okay and might not know that it's popping over here and they, ain't, they don't even know they don't even know how we vibe out so you know I love these lands. I love looking around these lands with y'all. Um, we really get into the nitty gritty of it all. The water is changing before our eyes. Okay, because I'm like, is it gonna stop? Is it gonna stop? But I do want you guys to, you know, tour around these lands and come check these lands out in your spare time because there are always things that I miss. There are a lot of times when I will get done recording and I'm still like looking around the land and I'm like, damn, why I didn't make that right turn if i would have made that right turn i would have came into this space i would have loved to show y'all this space so it's like when i show you guys these lands even if it seems like i've showed you guys everything i still haven't showed you guys everything i did the evergarden video and that video was in four damn parts and when i tell you i didn't even show y'all everything i didn't even show y'all everything they had a whole nother part whole other parts plural that I, didn't, that I didn't even show you guys. So still come to these lands and check them out. These people work really, really hard um, to put these lands together just to bring us, you know, the beauty of it all. And even though I show you guys a lot, y'all gotta come see this for yourselves. If you guys are seeing it the way I view Second Life, but I know everyone has different settings and different lighting and stuff that they like to have their second life in. So you can really kind of just experience it the way that you want to experience, but like I said, I love chilling with y'all. I love hanging with y'all. And this land was no exception. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.